I know you've gotten a lot of attention right from yourself, but I know the nicest theme of the whole year is family. Talk a little bit about the Oregon team and like how you guys are a family. What makes you guys so special? Yeah, um, I mean, I love those family shirts. I think it really spoke to who we are as a team and what we represent. Um, having so many international players, that's, you know, that's th this is our family. Uh, for them, I mean, they don't go home for Christmas, they don't go home for breaks, and so just uh, giving them that opportunity to come into our personal families at home, you know, makes them family. And uh, we're family on the court, we're family off the court, we win and lose as a team, we go through adversity and adversity as a team, and so um, I love the family shirts that we're out You do, you guys do have an interesting dynamic with having an international player. Is, it, is there any gestures you've done this year, or is it your team has done? Take seven minutes for holidays? Like, let's talk a little bit about, like, a fun moment yeah, um, I mean Christmas, um, any any really holiday, if we go home, some of them will come home with us, some of them will stay with our coaches at their house in Eugene, um, and just for our coaches to, to kind of have that comfort and bring in their players, their families, their kids on Christmas Day, Thanksgiving, um, you know, speak to them who they are and what they represent. You guys have done great things with this whole program. You know, you have unfinished business. What's gonna what's gonna be the strategy to take home a team? I mean we just have to keep doing what, what we've been doing. Shooting the ball well is something that we're gonna have to do. Um but but what we've been doing so far is work that got us to this point. So we're not really gonna change who we are, we're gonna continue to have fun and, and take it seriously when we get out. Is there any player that you look to over the spin of your life to like inspiration for um, not one player in particular. I, I've watched a few, um, and now kind of starting to, to see and, and talk to more on social media, and uh, having them come to our games has definitely changed that. I mean, Kobe Bryant, LeBron, Pau Gasol tweeting at Maite, um, Steph Curry, uh, John Stockton, all those players are uh, players that uh, pass for, um, for players right now that we've got to. What's been your wow moment? Like, wow, I'm really good, or wow, our team is really good. What's been that um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I think just the attention that we've gotten from pro athletes, um, having Kobe Bryant sit courtside at our game and back in LA was was like, whoa, he's here. Um, so I, I think just little things like that kind of prove that uh, we deserve that attention. How is your like mom and dad just stuff like that? Are they still like helping out with Yeah, no, they are. They um, especially since my parents know who those, who those players are. They don't know necessarily who every player is like I do, but um, they they understand. Who Kobe and Steph is, and so just their ability to really like take that in uh, has been nice to see. Yeah. And what's your pregame like strategy? What do you do before you like, whether it be music or like walk us through a day in game? Uh, I mean, I have a lot of superstitions. I couldn't even think of them all because I start doing them so naturally. But I always take a nap. I always shower before a game. Um, I always read like a quote in my Bible before the game. Uh, always. Today's It's not game day. So I don't know. This is true. Yeah. Only on a game. Um, I always have my headband on. There's just so many little things that I always touch like a luck coin. There's just like it goes on. And I I'll have to think about all of them. All right, thank you.